Welcome back, YouTube. Here we go. This is the bow that I shot up with foam. Basically, I filled the handle area and as much of the limbs as I could with the expanding insulating foam. The goal? To see if it added draw weight. This bow drew almost exactly 50 pounds to 28 inches. So we're going to see right now. Does it do a darn thing to it? I sure hope it, it raises the weight by, well, the more the better. My hopes aren't extremely high, but, you know, there's only one way to find out. Let's turn on the scale and get to cranking. Here we are. Ready. Fifty, maybe fifty-one pounds. Maybe a tiny bit more. That could have just been because I drew it a little bit faster. It's hard to say. It's very hard to say if that's the reason. So, what can we say? It certainly hasn't helped the bow's lateral stability. You know, I can fix it for a while, probably if I bent it on my knee like, can you see that far? Probably not, since I had you aimed up pretty high to see the, uh, the actual bending. I can probably work at it, and I've gotten pretty good at repairing these with a little bit of heat. And if I had to do anything... Believe me, one of the first things I'd do would be to puff up the handle a little bit. This is just too far gone, unless you're going to reinforce it in another way. i got to say, I'm a little nervous about drawing it. It doesn't feel any stronger than a normal bow. I think it's very interesting to... No, it's okay, you can come on out. You can even say hi if you want. No, okay, it's my wife. Anyway, there's the bow. It appears to be fine. I don't know what to say. It doesn't seem to really have gained any, any draw weight, but there it is. For what it's worth, here's the bow with a little bit of handle set. But that's really what you get. I mean, you got to remember this thing, they don't normally draw 50 pounds. 40, 45 pounds, yeah, but that extreme flat handle, that's what happens. It's putting a lot of stress right there. I think I'm just satisfied that it didn't shatter. Pity that we didn't get more performance out of it. Thanks so much for watching. Check back in and we'll have more experiments. I'm going to do some more stuff with the insulating foam and see if there's anything else we can do to try and enhance it. So, thanks again. So here we are again with the bow, with the hole in the side. Let's go ahead and see how well we can fill the sucker up. Some's going to come out the sides. I'm hoping it fills the limbs as well. Okay, well that's positive. Still oozing out. So that may be all the use I get out of this, but we'll see if it makes a darn difference. I suppose I should probably take a control bow, make sure I fill it up 100% end to end. I can try that, but I'll get back to you after this is cured and we'll give the bow another test.